for months I've been working on a crankshaft that can withstand the sand. It's kind of rope with tubes around it, non-turning joints, and it works. Finally, it worked. Now I brought it to the beach and the beast got a nose and a tail. Now on the tail, there will be a sort of wings, which you might recognize from former beach animals. They wave in the wind and they pump air into pet bottles to high pressure. And this pressed air can drive the beast. So here will be the wings on the tail. It will move up and down and will press the air into the bottles, into the beast. Today we're going to simulate that with air from a compressor. There are a kind of ski poles which push the beast forwards. But to, what do we see? The legs don't move at all. In fact, they look a little bit pathetic. They just hang there. This often happens in evolution. They become rudimentary. Look at the wings of an ostrich. They are also a bit pitiful. We are now going to take a step in time that would normally last for a few million years. The legs, they disappear. Look, and it's still walking. It even walks better. This also happened with snakes. Millions of years ago, the snake had four legs, just like a lizard. Those legs have disappeared as well. And about the crankshaft, the non-existing crankshaft is more resistant to sand than anything else.